Hey everyone, it's at Roth Collectors here. We are opening up six 2022 Top Series 1 blister packs from Walmart. These were, I believe, around the five, six dollar range per pack. You get two um, packs in each one of these blister packs. Um, and I've seen early on, some of these have some pretty good uh, hits in them, or at least potential for it. Obviously, the odds here are on the back. You can take a look. And not guaranteed anything in any of these, but people have been pulling some nice things out of here. Pretty good value. Um, not sure, you know, it'd be interesting to see how they do compared to blasters and hangers. Done well out of some blaster boxes lately and some hanger boxes. So I thought, let's give these a try. Um, you know, will we hit a Wander Franco? I don't know. Uh, will we hit um, any uh, parallels? Let's give it a shot. Um, from what I've read, people online have posted, they pulled short prints, they pulled parallels and uh, other things out of these. So let's see if we can find anything. Let me know in the comments below, have you found these blister packs at your local Walmart? Um, have they been at Target's as well or just Walmart? I'd like to know uh, what you have found at your local um, uh, retail stores. Uh, hopefully you guys are all doing well. If you could hit that um, like button, greatly would appreciate that. And it helps out the channel to grow. If you haven't subscribed, please uh, hit the um, subscribe button as well. We'd love to add you as a subscriber. That soda looks funny, but it is definitely the regular. Yeah, I don't know why I thought that looked like a variation of some kind. Um, let's get the camera back in focus here. All right, and then you get an insert here and one of these um, stars of the MLB, which I have a million of. If you've opened up retail, you know that those stars of the MLB are in every single pack, so you can build a set of those pretty fast. I'm not sure kind of what the long-term value is of those. I would imagine very little. Um, and collectability-wise, probably pretty small. So let's see if we can hit anything out of this pack. Pack number one wasn't anything to write home about. Let's see what we get out of pack number two. Um, so yeah, this uh, series one set is, uh, you know, nice looking, but a little bit on the lackluster side as far as pulling hits out of. They made a lot of it, but it's interesting how stuff is rolling out like we didn't see these blister packs until i think a week ago um and other places you know it seemed like there was no there's very little um of the stuff sitting on the shelves or even put out on the shelves so it's kind of interesting that they made so much of it yet it's like very slow to get out so i don't know if that's like a supply shipping issues or you know supply chain shipping issue or if it is you know intentional on tops just how they're rolling it out randy arose arena there oh another um ray uh, so he is one of the top um guys in uh, rookies in the set other than of course wander franco and then we have a bryce harper um yeah so there's some been some you know trades a lot of things happening in the baseball world lately uh, people are, of course, getting excited for the regular season to start, and I don't like that each one of these packs has all of these horizontal cards on the front. Kind of annoying. Um, don't, not a fan of the landscape, and not a fan of how they are flipped around. Anyways, let's see if we can pull something out of this one. We have an 87. Tyler McGill, um, rookie card, and then a Pete Alonzo. So nothing out of those two. Not expecting much out of these, but kind of a fun video just to show you what you get. I know there's probably been other people have done videos like this, but I haven't seen all that many. Maybe I just haven't searched high and low for them, but uh, cheap rip. Good to, good way to compare what you get in this compared to a blaster box. Do you want to spend $5 or $12 on a hanger five or $20 on a blaster box? Or would you rather spend, you know, five, six bucks on one of these and give it a shot? Uh, so far, my impression is I would rather buy a blaster or a hanger box, but let's keep going. There's a Travis Shaw. Um, that is the Royal Blue and a Mike Trout. Next pack. 
pulling autographs out of the stuff uh, retail wise is usually extremely difficult um I have pulled relics, though, out of the hanger boxes, which has been pretty fun. I remember last year trying to pull uh, relics out of hanger boxes was pretty impossible. This year, it's a little easier. And here is an Andrew Vaughn, 1987. And behind that, we have a Tatis Jr. Unfortunately, he is out for a while with a broken, is it broken wrist, I believe? I think it's a broken wrist. That's really a shame. I was really looking forward to Tatis out in the field for the Padres. Really like the Padres. We lived in San Diego for four years, four and a half years. Luke was born there, and uh, my aunt had lived there for years. She always sent us Padre gear. So Padres are a team I've always kind of watched and rooted for in the National League. Um, and when we were in San Diego, Jake Peavy was the pitcher. Uh, for them and they had some pretty good teams um, playoff worthy teams there's a Casey Mize um, and there is Wander Franco so we did get one Wander so far um, that's just the stars of the MLB anyway so that's uh, my affinity with the Padres um, I'm not sure that Luke has uh, a big liking for them other than he has some ties being born there but there he is Wander Franco. So we get the Wander Franco stars of the MLB. And of course, in front of that was the Corbin Burns. And then you get Wander Franco. I don't know that's always the case that Corbin Burns leads to a Wander Franco. I don't think it is, but it uh, happens often. Um, so, anyways, yeah, Luke does like the Padres, but maybe not his most favorite team. All right, Jacob DeGrom. Uh, we definitely are Red Sox fans. Um, and. The Red Sox have done a few interesting things. One of them is the signing Trevor Story. I thought that was pretty cool and also very interesting because they have Xander Bogarts as their shortstop. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Who will take over short? I would imagine Xander's going to stay there, but maybe not. Um, maybe one of them will move to second base. I haven't really read much since the trade other than the um, Bogarts really reached out to Trevor Story and made him feel welcome. It didn't seem like there's going to be any trouble for those two to get along, which is cool. Alec Baum, Generation Now, and an Acuna Jr. He is not done uh, f too much yet in spring training. I think they're just kind of making sure he is all ready to go before... He gets fully onto the field and, uh, you know, puts um, all of his effort into it. They don't want him to get re-injured, which who would want your superstar to get re-injured after having a major surgery like that. All right, let's see if there's anything in this pack here. It looks like we have another Stars of the MLB. So... So far, not real impressed with this. I wanted to get a few of these just to give it a try. Um, definitely, uh, for me, I would be buying um, blasters and hanger boxes. I've done fairly well out of those. The last couple of blasters I've opened, I pulled a uh, Shohei Otani short print variation. And the next one, at, right after that, I opened up another blaster and it had a Brandon Marsh variation. Um, and so... These, though, boy, really tough. And then the hanger boxes have been pretty solid, too. They're not all uh, good, but they're a little bit better than this. I'd save my money and buy those. So here's a Buster Posey Chrome. Haven't pulled one parallel, one short print, um, variation, nothing out of six packs. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below. What would you do? How would you spend your money? Um let me know. Love to hear from you. And as to what you pulled, I know you can still buy these on Target. And if you have the red card with Target, you can save 5%, which isn't a ton, but it still helps out. Pays for your taxes and stuff. Um, at least if you're in a state like ours, 6% sales tax. Uh, well, that's a good way to buy them or pick them up at Walmart for $19.98 or whatever. All right, that's it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This is the stack of inserts I got. I got the one Royal Blue. That was really the only parallel, I guess you could say, I got. And then I got the one Wander Franco. At least I got one. A Chrome and another uh, Wander Franco, but it was the stars of the MLB insert. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you are doing well. Tell me what you found on the shelves of your... 
local retail stores this week. I know that there's going to be some good products coming out in the next uh, few weeks, so stay tuned for that. We will be opening those up on the channel as we find them in our retail stores, letting you hopefully get a good look at what we found. Um, and we'll try to show you what we found on the shelves uh, of our retail stores as well. All right, take care, guys. Have fun collecting. We will see you soon.